So I'll suppress the game now and let's see what you can do with them. So if you want to get one, you go to the armory and for the American side you have one suppressor and there's three different colors. Camouflage, Olive and Standard Black. It will fit on any AR-15 type weapon, which is all of these over here. The M16 types and the M4 types. And in conflict it costs 10 supply points. A lot of players expected this thing to be some type of OP weapon system. The developers modeled the realistic performance of it. So it's it's not really as overpowered as people would think. Okay, so the first thing is if you want to mount it, you have to go to the examination mode, go to the end of the barrel. And here's a, the other new thing is that you can now detach the flash hider that's already on the weapon. In previous game versions that was a fixed item that you couldn't detach from the weapon. I'm going to remove it. And attach suppress it. But the primary purpose of suppressor is to lower the sound of the gunshot and to reduce the recall. And there's a cool feature in this game is that it now also simulates what happens if you don't have anything on your barrel. So let's move the suppressor again. Let's see if you can find a difference. See the pretty large muzzle flash. And it's even more dramatic if you take a short barrel M4. Let's take an M4. Move the flash hide on. Set to full auto. I think the, f the muzzle flash is even bigger on the M4, which I think developers actually accounted for that the, sh the barrel is shorter and there's more unexpended powder gas that just blows out of the barrel. That's the muzzle flash you can see. Okay, now let's go to the Soviet side. Now on the Soviet side you get a bit more variety. You also got only one suppressor, but you got two different other muzzle devices you can use. Let's move this one and let's take a full-size AK and an AK-74 here. On the Soviet side you get the PBS-4 suppressor. And you got the flash hider for the AK-74 U. And the standard muzzle brake for the AK-74. Okay, let's sw swap it out for the suppressor. Okay, now it's similar with the American one. It's it's basically about making the weapon quiet, and it also reduces the recoil of the weapon slightly. Now, on this weapon, if you um, Take the standard muzzle brake on it. But it's still a bit of a muzzle flash because it's more muzzle brake than flash either, like on the American weapon. So you shoot. See that little flame coming off? But the cool thing is in this game they actually model the, um, the smoke puffs and the flash effects and in which direction they go. You can also see that if you look at it from the outside. The muzzle brake on the AK 74 is pretty interesting. You see here, you got. An opening on this side, an opening on the other side. However, that opening, those openings are not directly horizontal. They're actually slightly canted. So this one goes slightly up and this one goes slightly down. And the reason for that is that on the natural recoil pattern of the weapon, this is designed to counter in which direction the, the muzzle is being pulled uh, when you shoot the weapon. Now if you look at the AK-74U um, flash item, now the purpose of that is not as much as to reduce recoil, it's to ins ensure the safe cycling of the weapon. You actually get a slightly higher recoil using that thing than using the other muzzle brake. And the reason for that is in the AK-74U, that's a shorter AK-74. Um, a lot of gas pressure is basically wasted to the outside because the barrel is shorter and that means to ensure the weapon is still getting enough gas to cycle the action back so the next round can get picked up. Um, this muzzle boosting device, it, it basically pushes more gas back into the mechanism. So technically it's a recoil increaser. Oh, in this game, currently, the game doesn't model weapons overheating or failing to cycle. So, and my theory is, you would actually be better off just using the standard AK-74 muzzle brake instead of this one. Because you then get slightly less recoil. Okay, now I'm going to order the eye to do suppressive fire at a distance. Suppressive. 
press a fire up here. Let's listen to how it sounds, of course. Now, what you what you hear right now is two different sounds, but it's pretty hard to hear because they're overlaying each other. You hear a sharp clicking sound. That's the sound of the supersonic bullet flying past the camera. And the other sound is the gunshot sound. And let's go further away. Now, as I'm pulling the camera away, I'm pausing now. What you should hear is two things. You should hear the difference between the, uh, the gunshot sound and the supersonic bullet crack sound. And the further away I get from the camera, the more delay between those two, because the bullet will arrive at the camera before the sound of the gunshot bullet, because the bullet travels at about three times faster than, than the speed of sound. Okay, let's take a listen. See, at this point you almost only hear the supersonic crack of the round. You don't even hear the, the gunshot sound. Oh, barely. Okay. It's time this guy to stop shooting, and let's get the guy with. Uh, let's get a soldier with uh, normal muzzle break. Good. Let's listen. I can hear the difference. You hear that click and then the kapow. You hear that? So what you can learn from that is that a suppressor has its best effect if you shoot at something that's three, four hundred meters away, because then you can confuse the the target, because it will take them longer to figure out exactly where you're shooting from. But at one or two hundred meters, they can still hear you pretty much exactly where you're shooting from. Okay, now I'm going to make it much darker. Let's see how how much of a flash you're going to see.